Sophie. Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my AR-15. This is a fun gun. I love to go shooting with it. I don't really go hunting. Uh, I do mainly target practice. I'll go shoot steel plates out at uh, really long distances. I live out here in California, so we have some really nice deserts that we can set up some metal targets, steel plates out. I've put them out at about 500 yards and I hit them pretty consistently, but I'm I'm a little bit more happy with the gun around like 300-400 yards. I can I can count on my shots being where I want them a little bit more that that distance. I've stuck targets out at like 800 yards, 1,000 yards, and I've hit targets that far away, but it was, I mean, you're pointing up to the sky for one, basically, and just with like the, the bullet trajectory, you have to aim so freaking high, and it's just not consistent, but I mean, you, you can do it. I've done it. It took me about 10 shots for every five hits, but it's a long distance rifle nonetheless. And I really like it because it's a 223. And ammo for that right now, I bought a case, which is a thousand rounds, for 250 bucks. So it's about a quarter a shot. And it's, you know, 2016. I remember not long ago, 223 ammo was almost a dollar a round. So it had this huge curve where people were paying, you know, we. I remember buying 223 ammo back in. 2008, 2007 for, yeah, 20, 22 cents a shot. And then, you know, all the laws and stuff that we're used to seeing and, you know, who came around and uh, and the prices went up. Yeah, they're back down around 25 cents a round, so this is good. Makes it a lot cheaper to shoot. But on this rifle, it has a ER Shaw upper receiver with a 24 inch stainless heavy barrel uh, with a one to eight twist. I just have the factory grip on there. That's basically the only thing that you could say that's factory about this thing, I guess. Uh, it's a JDE fabrication lower receiver with a Timony single stage trigger in there. It's fully adjustable, so you could make it a two stage. I have it set up for a single stage right now. And I have a Magpul PRS stock, which I love. Uh, the scope on there is just, it's a Tasco 25 power scope. It's probably like a $200 scope, nothing big deal. But let's take a closer look at this pig. So what we got here is a JD Fabrication lower receiver. So you can see here it's made in San Diego. What's up? Represent. And I do have, since we are here in California, I got one of these guys too. Yay, go me. It's a bullet button. And I also got one of these. 10 round magazine. Hey, hey, look out. But I'm happy with that. You know, at least I have one. That's pretty cool. There's lots of places in the world where you can't even have firearms, so I'm stoked. Plus, it prevents me from shooting all my ammo at once. That stuff's expensive. And a 30 round magazine just won't work when you have a bipod and you're doing bench rest shooting. Okay, so let's pop this thing open and I'll show you the trigger that I got in here. And I don't know how many of you guys have converted your AR-15's triggers yet. Um, the military spec one that comes with basically your, your lower receiver kit, which is you know typically a gas piston, the spring here, this little spring stop that goes into your stock, and typically they give you a trigger assembly for you to construct yourself, which is a pain in the butt, but yeah, I had that military spec trigger for a while. <laughs> Long enough to have it drive me crazy, but this is a Timony drop-in trigger. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it was under 200 bucks, and that is like the nicest trigger. I've shot a lot of guns, and this is probably one of the nicest triggers I've ever come across, and it's a drop-in. And you can adjust a little bit in there. Not too much, but I like it. It's a lot better than the factory trigger that you can put together. But man, I love this thing. There's literally two Allen screws in here, and then you use these two dowel pins, and that's it. It just drops right in, done. So let's slide over here. <clears throat> and this is the Magpul PRS stock. This is the bad boy. You can slide this off. There's a Picatinny rail under here, so if you wanted to put a monopod down there, you can. It's fully adjustable. This is your cheek rest. This is your butt stock. 
Uh, there's a little strap here and on the other side. So if you want to put uh, some kind of a strap through it, you can. Uh, this guy ain't cheap. I think it was about 250 bucks when I bought it. But it is a nice stock. My favorite stock I've shot so far on, on AR-15 platforms. So let's get this guy out of the way here and we'll look at the upper receiver. So what we've got here is an ER Shaw upper with a 24 inch stainless heavy barrel. I got a bipod on the front obviously because the thing weighs as much as a Honda. Uh, let's check, take a look at the receiver here and the bolt. It's just a standard bolt receiver. Nothing fancy. Let me slide this over here so you can see it. Nothing fancy, just a standard bolt. There are better bolts out there, but this one does what it's supposed to do. Puts a bullet in the chamber, takes a bullet out of the chamber. Wash, rinse, repeat. And like I said, the scope on here is, it's junk. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, it's garbage. It's a 24 power Tasco mill dot scope, and it does an okay job. Um, it's not as clear as a lot of scopes. I mean, I'd love to have a Night Force scope, but hey, <laughs> I don't have 1500 bucks laying around. But it is accurate. The gun's as accurate as it can be, and man, it is so much fun to shoot. Um, I'm going to be making some other videos with this, and uh, some of my other friends did a review with this gun. Um, they have a channel over. You guys should go and check them out. They are called the Bullet Points. But the guys over at Bullet Points did a full review on these two guns. Uh, they put this 223 up against a 6.8. I mean, the guns are almost identical. I believe that the 6.8 also had a 24 inch barrel. Um, it's just different caliber. I really think the only things that were different were uh, they had an adjustable grip. Uh, I think it was the same stock, obviously a better scope, but uh, yeah, there that 6.8 is something else. The, the stopping power on that thing is incredible, and uh, the accuracy at distance is also equally as incredible. The only drawback from that was that I saw is the price of the bullet. It is really expensive to shoot a 6.8 compared to a 2.23, but it just depends on what you want to do. If you want to uh, shoot things that are a little bit closer, like, yeah, within 400 yards, I would say that this gun's gonna do better than a lot of things out there at four, 500 yards, depending on your weather conditions and all that stuff. But yeah, the 6.8 can go easily another 200 yards than, than a 223. But uh, yeah, you gotta check those guys out over at the bullet points. They got a really cool channel. They do gun reviews, they go to different shot shows, and yeah, they are awesome. Oh, look who came to join us. Hey, Dio. Dio has his own Instagram. How many followers you got, Dio? 2,000? He's kind of a big deal. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support and stay tuned. There's going to be more videos with my uh, little AR-15 here. We're going to do some uh, some parody videos where we go and shooting, you know, stuff like laptops and cell phones. And uh, I'm going to attempt the world's longest shot with uh, my buddies over at the Bullet Points. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Don't you think you're a little young for that? If you were my kid, I would bitch slap you upside the head with my spatula. I mean my microphone. I hear you're a huge Jacuzzi Surfer fan. How do you think our fan base got so big?